Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris and Bob. You checking in, man. Monday's question of the day. I'm going to give y'all my top five slogans in battle rap, and I want you to give me your top five slogans in battle rap in the comment section. I said I might do this blog when I did the Crown 2 recap. Shout out to everybody that watched the Crown 2 recap, man. Over 20,000 views in a week, man. So I appreciate all the support. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people wanted me to do the top five uh, slogans in battle rap. And don't worry, my nigga. I'm going to do the top five worst slogans, too. I already got the list. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of finding the footage and finding out what battles they set it in. But I'm definitely going to do top five worst slogans in my next blog. But as of right now, man, the top five best. Coming in at number five. This dude came on the scene, man. Made a pretty good mark with his slogan, man. Had even people saying it in their battles. So you got to give it up for him. Roll clip. On the real smack, we finally had the battle in Detroit. Somebody be here. Calico got a dope slogan to me, you know what I'm saying? Despite everything that happened with him lately in battle rap, the ill will situation, the Pat State situation, people feeling like he's more concerned with music instead of battles. If it ain't on URL, it don't count for Calico. All these things that are being said about Calico now, I must admit, man, he got one of the better slogans in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between metaphors and real rap. It's one of the, one of the realest things you can say in a battle. You already know Smack how I feel, Smack. Smack. You finally had the battle in Detroit. Ain't nobody gonna get killed, Smack. I told you I'm a man of my word. I'm real, Smack. Did you see? I just had Uncle Trick Trick the chill, Smack. <laughs> And I always feel like considering the type of person he is in his battles, the stuff that he talks about, I feel like the slogan is appropriate. We even see people saying it in their battles, so that just give you that just giving him even more props for the slogan. Hey. Calico went on the ball game circus, I'm repping you. I feel that black face said I wanted his face. This is a trail fact. This is my second time making top turns. Feel whack, cause it's a difference between metaphors and real rap. You got to give it up to Calico, man, as a number five slogan in battle rap, in my opinion. Coming in at number four, this is another real slogan. Whenever this dude says this slogan, it just tells me, this thing about to go off. I always get that, that feeling that he's just about to go off. Roll clip. Oh, man, boss. Something he got to deal with. No matter how many of them fabricated lines he about to say, it ain't going to equal up to this. Serious Jones, oh my motherfucking God. I'm happy these niggas out of retirement, but I'm still the best nigga on this motherfucking car. Grown man bars is something you gotta deal with. You know what I'm saying? Definitely a dope slogan, man. I know he got it from Goods, but him and Goods are cool. You know what I'm saying? And Goods pretty much said he had no issue when I interviewed him with Rex saying his slogan. And I know that they pretty tight, so I know there's no issue there. I mean, I don't feel no way because, I mean, Rex would tell you, you know, he, he got that for me. Like, we was in St. Louis, and um, the way that came about, we was in St. Louis, and I gave Rex a grown man bar shirt out in St. Louis. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew Rex for, for over 10 years, so I gave him a grown man bar shirt. He said, yo, I'm going to wear this for my battle, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear this for my battle. I got you. And he, he wore a grown man bar shirt. And then he thought he, he started off his verse by saying grown man bars is something you gotta deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it, it just something we live. We we spit grown man bars. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it kind of was a hit. I been was on a grown man bar, so everybody knew I was doing it. But when Rex did that, that became a slogan. And it became his slogan because, you know, he said it, he started saying it a lot. But Rex should tell you when you interview him, you know what I'm saying, that he got the grown man bars thing from me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that, that that's still his slogan. I don't know, man. Maybe Good should have made this his slogan because it definitely applies to him as well. Whenever Rex says this, it just always seemed like the bars he got after it be dope to me. I don't know. Rex always one of these dudes that has really good first rounds. So he starts off with this slogan. It seems like he just starts 
running through niggas in terms of round one and just the shit he says after that always leads up to dope bars after the slogan. Grown man bars, something he gotta deal with. Cause no matter how many of them fabricated lines he said, it ain't gonna equal up to this real shit. This bitch ass nigga got beat up by young L and Aver. This is word to my son's life. He got beat up by young L and Aver. One of them niggas is gay. The other one with a straight perm. Everything I'm saying is true. Ain't nothing false about it. But if me and Kate Shine would've jumped them, you won't be here to talk about it. All you'll see is the body, yellow tape, chalk around it, bunch of blood. Y'all making me mad just to talk about it. Grown man bars is something ill gonna have to deal with. Cause no matter all them fabricated bum ass lines he said, it ain't gonna equal up to this real shit. That gangster shit he shouldn't try here. Cause I'm keeping it real. Nigga could die here. We brung them nines here. You know them hammers is on deck when them plane tickets was paid for and we ain't fly here. So I fuck with it, man. I know Rex has been on a little downslide lately in some of his battles. But we got to give it up, man. They got one of the best slogans in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Coming in at number four, grown man bars is something you got to deal with. Next up, coming in at number three, man. This is another dude who got everybody saying his slogan every time he says it. And let's be real, man. He got one of the biggest reactions ever for this slogan. Coming in at number three, roll clip. It's round one, it's getting hot in there. Let him will know my slogan. Hell no, get that the fuck out of here. I never drunk vodka. Get the yak the fuck out of here. Look at that hat. Get that the fuck out of here. You thought I was going to lose? Get smacked the fuck out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. One of the most popular slogans in battle rap. When he just says DNA, get him the fuck out of here, it's just an okay slogan. But when he be like, hell no, get this the fuck out of here, get that the fuck out of here, take that hat, take them pants, take that shirt. When he goes into that, he really shakes up the room, man, especially on URL and some of those big stages. And I think sometimes he has a lot of clever shit he says that's a little bit funny, man. It shows a sense of humor in some in some of uh the things he point out or whatever. It's round one, it's getting hot in here. What's your slogan? Sip him up. What the fuck is mine? Get him the fuck out of here. Hell no, you bitches sick. Get that disease the fuck out of here. Get your back page, credit card, fraud schemes the fuck out of here. Get your flat ass, no pocket jeans the fuck and out of here. And I'm gonna dress up and get them bum ass weaves the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here. Fuck out of here. Despite the fact that niggas hate DNA, feel like he corny, feel like he's oversaturated feel like he's boring you got to give it up man he got one of the best slogans in battle rap too and you know what i'm saying shout out to him i know tech nine and all them niggas was trying to say that it was his slogan first and that's what led to them battling or whatever but at the end of the day man it's dna slogan you know what i'm saying so shout out to dna the number three slogan in battle rap belongs to dna mr give him the fuck out of here Coming in at number two, this is another dude. He only battles on URL mostly, so of course his slogan fits URL. Yo, nigga, beat me. Still niggas lying. Tell you like I tell the others. I'll fail niggas rhymes. Who we fooling? But them still gripping lines. Tell them fucking with me, you'll get smacked. Yo, real niggas lying. Get smacked on real nigga time. I definitely love this slogan from Tay Rock, man. This shit is fire to me. You know what I'm saying? Every time he does it in a battle, I'm saying it with him. And it's to the point now where, you know what I'm saying? He can just start the slogan and niggas are already finishing it. So definitely one of the better slogans considering he only battles on URL. And I'm saying you'll get smacked on real nigga time and smack says real nigga time all the time. Definitely a dope slogan considering the platform that he mostly battles for. So I definitely fuck with it. I feel like Tay Rock has the number two slogan in battle rap. You gonna beat me? Still niggas lying. Tell them like they tell the others. I don't feel niggas lying. Who we fooling with them still gripping lines? You get smacked. We Dead, nigga. Coming in at number one, this dude. You know what I'm saying? This dude, to me, got the best slogan in battle rap right now. As soon as he starts to say it, niggas just start saying it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he starts, like the first two words of the slogan, niggas start saying it. 
Bro. I told him once, these motherfuckers scared I'm from the motherfucking loot. That's how a motherfucker flip. Be me, can you believe what Lil Tay Tayton said? You must have slipped, fell, and fucked the motherfucking head. Yeah. 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 B motherfucking magic when I lift up. You already know what time it is, man. Definitely one of the best slogans in battle rap. I got it as the number one slogan in battle rap, man. And to me, when Twiz did that clip of B magic and Tay Rock the trailer, that's one of the best trailers for a battle. You know what I'm saying? How he had Rock saying his slogan, B magic saying his slogan, then mixed in with the bars and the beat. I felt like that shit was just crazy. And I don't know, man. It seemed like it fits him appropriately. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like this is the best slogan in battle rap. As soon as he say it, people start saying it. And the shit just goes well, man. I, I fuck with it. I feel like it's creative. And I got it number one. Best slogan in battle rap. I told him once. He's motherfucking, motherfucking scared. From the motherfucking, motherfucking loot. That's how the motherfucking play. Be me. Can you believe what his motherfucking said? He must have still been up to his motherfucking head. So that's my top five, man. I got Calico, Rex, DNA, Tay Rock, B Magic. That's my top five slogans in battle rap. I know of some other ones, man. You got um, Arsenal got a good one with the whole, uh, once again, I'm here. I'm in another nigga state on another nigga stage. I fuck with that heavy. Uh, Hitman got another one with ball game. That's a good slogan, especially when he says you niggas is all lame. Two words after this ball game. Like when he said that shit versus Arsenal, that shit was crazy. Um, and it's a few more, man. It's definitely a few more. I can't think of all of them right now. I even like Mav. You know, the, the daddy spending time with me. A lot of niggas say that shit. Uh, Cortez got one. Um, I don't know. Some of y'all might think those are whack, but it's a lot of niggas with slogans. Those are my top five. I want to know what your top five is. Next blog, the top five worst slogans in battle rap. And I got a nice little list here, man, of five niggas that really need to change their slogan like today. It is what it is. I'm Bosh Review. How that's your boy.